I am back with another lock picking video. I know I've done, this will be my third, but I really love this. It's like little puzzles that you're not supposed to solve. So I learned to pick a traditional lock, one with a cylinder and pins, and that's using a lock picking kit. And then I learned to pick a combination lock, and these are both useful skills, but there was actually a time where a friend of mine needed a lock pick and I offered to do it and because I never had my lock picking kit with me, I actually wasn't able to do it. I tried to use screwdrivers and allen keys, but I couldn't figure it out. And this got me thinking because in movies, you see people picking locks with paper clips and bobby pins all the time. However, if you look at the tools of a lock picking kit, they're pretty specific tools. And it just seems that these are very well suited for the job, whereas this isn't. So in movies when they pick a lock in 30 seconds with a couple of paper clips, I've always thought, can you actually do that? Well, today we're gonna to find out. I'm gonna try and learn to pick a standard lock using just paper clips. So what are we trying to do here? Well, basically we're trying to get this core, the central part of the lock to rotate and what that'll do is it'll rotate this little lever, which will in turn open the latch. What's stopping this core rotating inside the cylinder is a series of little pins. So the pins inside the lock all have different lengths and they have to be manipulated up and down in such a way that allows the core to turn. And you can see that the key is cut so that when I insert it into the lock, it moves the pins perfectly in line with the core, which allows it to turn. When I take the key out, they all jumble about randomly and the core can't be turned. So to pick the lock, you basically put something into the core and manipulate the pins up and down. The problem is when you move one pin in the correct position and move to the next one, it just moves back away. So we solve that by applying a little bit of tension, a little bit of torque on the core, which helps keep the pin in place. We just go one by one until they're all aligned and the lock opens. I think that's it. Easy as that. In order to be able to pick a lock with paper clips, I need to make these tools from these paper clips. So I built this little box. Well, I didn't build the box. I bought it off Amazon and installed a lock. I just used hot glue to <laughs> glue this on, so definitely wouldn't put anything valuable in this, but it'll work for demonstration purposes. Right, let's get started. I'm gonna stick a phone in there to create some incentive and also to act as an accurate timer. So this is day one, hour zero. Right, stick the phone in. Lock the door. Now, I don't wanna use these keys for the rest of this filming session. So let's see if I can pick this just using these paper clips. First thing I need to do is to make the tool. So I'm gonna start with the lever. So I don't think this will be too bad. Um, let's see. I need to make this loop section here smaller. So don't ever do this at home, but I need to, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Kind of more simple than that. I mean, it's almost the same shape as when I started. Right, the pick. Look at all these crazy shapes of picks. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to make anything like that. So I'm just gonna go for the most basic one, simple hook. What I want is the, the bend portion to be right at the end there. So I'm gonna just use this, I'm gonna just use this box. Ugh, these paper clips are strong, man. Oh, right, wait, I can just use the lock to make it, to bend this. A little bit more. A little more. I think that that's actually quite good. Let's give this a go. Let's start picking this bad boy. So I'm applying a little bit of tension here, quite a lot actually, and we're gonna go from front to back. Okay. 
So immediately there is a lot less feedback and dexterity using the paper clip. It tends to bend and it also gets caught on the pins. So I have trouble, I'm having trouble moving this forward here, it's stuck in there. Yeah, this is a lot harder. Also, this is bending. I could do, I could do with a little bit more reinforcement here. So let's get, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better. If you guys have ever watched The Lock Picking Lawyer on YouTube, it's a fantastic channel. You should definitely check it out. This guy really is a guru when it comes to picking locks. He has a very methodical technique. He'll go pin one, pin two, pin three, and then go back. That's not really the way I do it because I'm such an amateur and I, I don't have that finesse. I kind of stick the pick into the core and just drag it along up and down and hope that the pins randomly fall into position and stick there. That tends to work for me. It takes a long time to pick the lock, but eventually it does get open. So you can hear the pin moving up and down there. This is the true amateur technique. This is what I do when I'm frustrated. I can't pick it, I end up just going nuts. Right, let's take a break. We're not getting anywhere here. Okay, that, that is completely stuck. I can't move that at all. You can see that the whole lock mechanism is moving. Okay, you hear that pin there? That was just the pin releasing. Let's try and get this one down. Okay, kind of ruined the tool here. Let's bend that back. I just can't feel which pin I'm on because this just bends inside the lock. It's very frustrating. What was that noise? Hold on, hold on. There we go, it's done. <laughs> oh. No, I think I've I think I'm turning this the wrong way. Yeah, I've I've picked this lock, but the but I've turned it the wrong bloody way. God damn it! Right, so I know it's possible but it's anti-clockwise, you muppet. Oh, there we go. Oh, I've turned it the wrong way again. For God's sake, Michael. I picked, I'm the only guy ever to pick a lock and lock the front door. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right. Oh, <laughs> oh bloody sick. <laughs> well, that was secure. <laughs> so the movies aren't lying. Movies. You can always trust the movies. But it did take, take 35 minutes of picking it. <laughs> Just to prove this isn't a fluke, I'm gonna try and pick this uh, little padlock also with the paper clips. Oh yes. There we go. That was way too easy. You can definitely pick a lock with a couple of paper clips. A wee while ago, I bought these metal posters from Display, and when they arrived, I was so impressed with them that I reached out to Display and asked if they'd like to sponsor one of my videos, and they agreed. So these are metal posters, which means that they sit really flush to the wall, which I love, I think that looks a lot cleaner. And the cool thing about these is they require no tools to mount and they make no holes in the wall. Let me show you the mounting system. It's just these magnetic strips. Hold on. Oh. That's it. That's the only thing keeping these on the wall. And when you're done, if you don't want them on the wall anymore, they just peel off. 
Amazingly, there's 250,000 different designs to choose from spanning a huge range of different genres like movies, books. I really liked this Half-Life one, so if you like video games or the Marvel series, there's plenty of posters with those on them. So use the link below and have a browse around, and if you see something you like, that link will get you 20% off at checkout. This is my favourite bit, check how you mount it once the, the magnetic strips are on, it's just a case of... Done. This is a product I really like, one that I endorsed uh, with my own money before there was any sponsorship. Um, so I really trust that you will like this product and if you do use the link and the code below, um, you'll be helping to support the show. Thanks to Displate for the sponsorship and thanks to you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.